And coming to a comfortable seated position, taking the hands onto the backs of the legs, palms facing upwards, and then inviting you to either drop the gaze or to close the eyes, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And could you let the sit bones drop down, feeling that connection with the earth, and then lifting up out of the spine, growing tall, reaching upwards with the crown of the head, and then finally tucking the chin in towards the chest, just a millimetre or two. So you're lengthening the back of the neck, good. I'm going to invite you just to take a moment to really notice what you're feeling. So scanning around the body and just be aware, don't search for anything that's not present. So you may like to just explore different areas of the body and you may notice anxiety, you may notice feelings of joy being on your yoga mat or something else entirely. Just notice. There's a theme this week is all about emotions. So we're taking that check in. And so often we can have been fueled by particular emotions throughout the day. And we don't actually become aware until we stop and really notice. So noticing, no judging needed, no story, just being aware. And then can you start to become aware of your breath? following the breath, just a couple of breaths to start to make that connection. And then we're going to breathe into the lower part of the lungs. So when you next inhale through the nostrils, feel the ribs expanding outwards. And as you exhale, feeling the ribs drawing back in together. Nice slow breaths. If the breath feels fast, then just take your time to slow it down at your own pace. You maybe start to add in your jai breathing, making that soft hissing sound, slightly constricting the back of the throat. Gentle breaths. We'll take a couple more breaths here before we start to move. We're going to keep this method of breathing going right up until towards the end of the class. So helping to give us some energy to fuel our practice. And then after your next exhale, could you slowly start to flicker the eyes open as you come back into the room. Let's inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting to the right, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, reaching up, fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, twisting to the other side. Inhale, reach up. See if you can draw the lower ribs in. Notice if they want to stick out, drawing them back. And exhale, twisting. One more. Inhale, fingers up to the sky. And exhale, twisting. Once more. Inhale, take the fingers up to the sky once more. And really focus on the ribs now. Can you draw those lower ribs in? So if you imagine if someone was to kick a ball and it was to land sort of around the navel area, so pull you in, see if you can feel that. And then exhale, lowering the arms down, walking the fingers forward, leaning forwards, maybe letting the head drop down if that feels comfortable. And taking a little snaky movement side to side, starting to ease stiffness that may be accumulated in the body during the day. And then walk your hands back in a little towards you, coming over onto all fours, ready for cat cow. So bringing yourself onto all fours, spread the fingers wide, push the floor away. As you inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly and look forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Keep going at your own pace. Starting each movement with the tailbone. See if you can follow that movement up the spine. So the head and the shoulders are moving last. One breath per movement. Good. Keeping that connection with the earth, feeling your hands pressing the earth away. And then after the next rounding of the spine, can you bring yourself back to a neutral spine? And we'll take a child's pose with wide legs. So knees nice and wide, if that's comfortable. If not, of course, bring the knees closer. And then walk the hands out.
out in front, maybe coming up onto the fingertips. If you'd like a little more in the shoulders, the upper back, try coming up onto the fingertips, tripod fingers. Breathe now into the back of the body. See if you can feel all of that lung space at the back of the body. And on the exhale, gently pressing downwards towards the ground, letting the head be heavy. Lengthen through the spine on the inhale and exhaling, softening on the exhale. I'm going to give you the option here to take a twist. If you're on, all th uh, on your fingertips, then bring the hands flat and we're going to take the right arm and thread it through. So like thread the needle, but from a child's pose, threading your right arm through, coming down onto your shoulder. Is it great? Lovely. And see if you can encourage that twist. Just a little more, gazing over the shoulder. And notice if you've turned the head a little bit to the side, so is your head and your neck in a nice long line with the spine? Can you notice? And then inhale, bringing the arm out, both arms out in front, just for a pause. And then moving on to the next side, you exhale, threading the other arm through, coming down onto the shoulder. Notice the position of the head and neck once more. Can you imagine that long line right from the tailbone up to the crown of the head? And encourage that. As you next inhale, bringing the arm out, coming back to the centre, take a pause. We're going to move into downward dog. So on the next inhale, slowly bringing yourself up to all fours, tucking the toes under and coming into your first downward dog. So we're warming up, so pedal it out. Let the head be nice and heavy. We can turn the head side to side to ease out the neck, if that feels good. Breathing nice and strongly here. And then let's start to walk the feet forwards towards the hands. And come into a forward fold, taking hold of opposite elbows, head dropping down nice everyone, bending knees if that feels better for you. Once more, breathe into the back of the body. We've got so much lung tissue in the back of the body, much more than on the front of the body. And you may be able to feel it moving, the position of your spine, as you breathe into the back of the body. Maybe even a sense of releasing muscles as you breathe into the back. And then start to have a little sway side to side, keeping the head really heavy so gravity is gently helping you to drop downwards. Let's come back to the centre. And then inhale, use your core as you roll up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra, head and shoulders up last. And let's come to the top of the mat, ready for sun salutation, Surya Namaskar A. So lift and spread the toes, there's lots of dogs around tonight. Good luck with B, Fran. <laughs> lift and spread the toes, lift the arches of the feet, standing tall, shoulders forward, up and down. Inhale, reaching fingers up to the sky. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, gaze in pose. Hands down, back into plank. Let's all take our knees down for this first one and come flat down to the ground, ready for cobra. Inhale, sliding forwards into cobra. Toes under to downward dog. Five breaths. Spread the fingers. Let the head be heavy. And could you focus on your breathing in this first round with downward dog? So breathing into the back of the body, using all of that lung tissue. And see if you can breathe right up to the shoulders at the back of the body. And notice how that enables you to possibly sink a little deeper into the pose, letting the heart come a little closer to the ground, but without forcing. Gently encouraging. As you next exhale, rise up onto the toes. Inhale, step, walk or jump into gazing pose. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, look up. And exhale, arms down into Samastiti. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, gazing pose. Hands down and back into plank. Knees down, whole body down or chaturanga. 
Inhale, coming up cobra or upward dog, toes under, into your downward dog, five breaths. Spread the fingers, push the floor away, gazing between the ankles with the head super heavy. And then lengthen down the sides of the waist. So you may like to bend your knees a little to help with this as well. And feeling a little more in the shoulders, the upper back. One more breath here. As you next exhale, rise up onto the toes. Inhale, step, walk or jump into gazing pose. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, arms down, samasthiti. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, lift and lengthen, gazing pose, and hands down, back into plank. Strong plank, knees down, whole body down, or chaturanga. Inhale, sliding forwards, cobra or upward dog. Nice fan, toes under, into downward dog. Good, nice slow breaths in your downward dog. And do adjust. So what is it that you need to work on in your downward dog? So I can see a few bent knees and that's great. If you bend the knees, dropping the heart downwards and then seeing if you can keep the heart down just that little bit more. And it's really good for the posture too. It's great Molly, great Fiona. Yeah, that's amazing Fiona, you cut your back almost still as you straighten your legs there. Well, you may be able to really feel the difference in your lengthening. That was quite a challenge, Liz, with the dogs. So let the head drop down really heavy. As you exhale, rise up onto the tiptoes. Look where you're going. Inhale, step, walk, or jump into gazing pose. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Look up, lower ribs in. And exhale, arms down, samastiti. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, gazing pose, hands down, back into plank. Knees down, whole body down, or chaturanga. Inhale, coming up cobra, or upward dog, shoulders down, toes under, into downward dog. Five breaths, once more. Pushing the floor away. Maybe bending the knees if you're working into the shoulders. And what you may like to do as well is come up right onto your tiptoes. Right on the tiptoes, lift the hips super high and then keep the hips high as you lower the heels down. So it feels like the legs are falling out of the hips. It can make you feel a little bit taller as well. As you next exhale, rise up onto the toes. Inhale, step, walk or jump into gazing pose. Exhale, folding down. Inhaling, coming up, and exhale, arms down, samastiti. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, gazing pose, and back into plank. Knees down, whole body, or chaturanga. Inhale, coming up cobra, or upward dog. Toes under, into downward dog. Five lovely, slow, slow breaths. And could you this time, Firmly press the hands into the mat and then energetically pull your arms apart so you're not actually moving the hands. But see if you can imagine that you're drawing the hands apart. And when it comes to stepping, jumping forward, see if you can keep that sensation and see how it feels to come forwards if you're pulling the hands apart. As you exhale, rise up onto the toes. Inhale, step, walk or jump into gazing pose. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, look up. And exhale, arms down, samastiti. We'll take two rounds, classical Syria Namaskar. Let's take a nice deep breath first. Inhale deeply. And exhale, completely drawing those lower ribs in. Inhale and exhale, bringing the hands into Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Take a little arch backwards. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, step back with the right leg, knee to the ground and look up. Tuck the right toe under, step back into plank, feet together if you can. 
knees, chest and chin. Shtanga Namaskar or come flat to the ground. Inhale, sliding forwards into Cobra. Toes under, into Downward Dog. Keep going. Inhale, step forward with the right foot between the hands. Left knee down to the ground and look up. Great, Leslie. Left toe under, step forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Little arch backwards here. Upper arms by the ears and exhale into Samastiti. Inhale deeply and exhale, hands into Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reaching forward, arching back. Exhale, falling down. Inhale, left foot's going back, knee to the ground and look up. Left toe under, step both feet together into plank, push the heels away. Knees, chest and chin or flat to the ground. Inhale, sliding forwards into Cobra. Toes under, into Downward Dog. Left foot's coming forward. Inhale, big step with the left foot forward. Right knee down to the ground and look up. Right toe under, step forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Lovely arch backwards. And exhale, arms down. Samastiti. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale, hands into prayer. Inhale, reach the arms forward, arch back, different sequence this time. Exhale, folding down. Gonna walk our feet back into downward dog. So find your downward dog here. And we're going to take a pigeon pose after a three-legged dog. So on the next inhale, could you lift your right leg up high into the air, drop the left heel down towards the ground, and then sweep the right leg forward, right knee behind, right wrist, unless you need to modify as you come into pigeon. So adjust the hips as you need to. And then slowly start to come forward, if that feels good, onto your forearms or lying down over the leg. Five breaths here. Nice. Slow the breathing right down. And could you once more breathe into the back of the body, gently pressing the top of the left foot down into the ground so that there's a little engagement in that leg, dropping the left hip down towards the ground without force. Inhale, walking your hands back towards you, tuck the left toes under and step back into downward dog. Just one breath here before we go on to the other side. As you inhale, can you lift the left leg up? Three-legged dog, drop the right heel down towards the ground. And then on the next inhale, sweep your leg forward as you come into pigeon. Adapting as you need to. And encourage the hips forward. And then slowly coming down to lie down over the leg or prop yourself up on your elbows. See what works for you. And finally, if you can, let your head just be heavy or maybe rest the forehead on the ground, then do so. Breathing into the back of the body. Notice sensations. This can be a pose where we feel a lot of sensation. And you know, emotions are just sensations that we give particular names to. Inhale, walking your hands back towards us, tucking the right toe under, and stepping back into downward dog. Stretch the legs out in your downward dog. We'll take just a couple of breaths here. We're gonna do a little bit of work on the core here, drawing the right knee into the chest and taking it back up to three-legged dog. If you need to rest, please do so. As you inhale, can you draw your right knee into your chest, taking the weight over the shoulders, and exhale, take the leg back up into three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to chest, and exhale, take the leg up, three-legged dog, great everyone. Inhale, knee to chest, exhale, leg up, one more. Inhale, knee to chest, and exhale, take the leg up, three-legged dog. We're going to step the foot to the outside of the right hand, uh, right hand. Inhale, bring your foot to the outside of your right hand. And then can you sink your hips forwards and down? So what may happen is that the left hip falls backwards a bit. See if you can draw that left hip forwards. High up onto your arms, pushing the floor away. 
and then drop the left knee down towards the ground. Tuck the toes under if that feels more comfortable. Options to stay here, or you could start to come down onto the forearms. So we're coming into a lizard pose here. And as you come down, you'll notice that possibly one arm reaches the ground better than the other. How are you going? Don't force, great. That's nice, Liz. Good. Slow breaths, breathe into it. And see if you could keep reaching your heart forwards in this pose. So you're not just letting the head drop down. You're reaching forwards, looking forwards like a lizard would do. As you inhale, can you start to bring yourself back up onto your hands? If you're down on your elbows, that is. Tuck the left toe under and step back into downward dog. So make any adjustments you need to in your downward dog. Ready to practice the whole sequence on the other side. So four times knee to chest, leg up to three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to chest. And exhale, leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to chest. And exhale, take it up. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, take it up. Inhale, knee to chest. And exhale, take it up. Taking the left foot to the outside now of the left, foot, uh, left hand, same foot. So find your position here, drawing that right hip forwards. And arms are straight, you're pushing back with the right heel, reaching the heart forwards. And then lower the right knee down, maybe coming down onto your forearms, or maybe staying with straight arms. See where you get to. And if it's a struggle to come onto the forearms, do stay on straight arms. So you can reach the heart forwards. Good. Nice slow breaths. Lizard pose. And with the front toe, the left foot, just notice if it's pointing forwards. See if you can encourage the foot forwards, if you can. Even if that means going a little higher up. We're gonna come back up into downward dog. So bring yourself up onto your hands, tuck the right toe under and stepping back into downward dog. Take a breath in downward dog. We're going to step or jump forward. As you next exhale, rise up onto the toes. Inhale, step, walk or jump. It's gazing pose. Exhale. Falling down. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, lower ribs in. And exhale, arms down. Samastiti. Step or hop your feet so they're hip distance apart. Toes pointing forwards or slightly in, forward fold. Inhale, standing tall. Exhale as you fold down, taking hold of big toes, ankles or legs. Whatever's right for you. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, coming into a gazing pose now. Feel that length in the spine. And then exhale, keeping that length in the spine as you fold forwards. Nice slow breaths. Draw the shoulder blades up towards the hips. If the elbows are bent, draw the elbows wide. And lift the hips up high. Breathing, of course, into the back of the body. So we virtually always breathe into the back of the body in a forward fold to really encourage the lengthening of the spine. Can you take your weight forward ever so slightly, Fran, into the balls of your feet? Just see how that feels. Yeah, that's good. Let the head be really heavy, everybody. Yeah. And the head, because it's heavy, is going to assist that forward fold. It's that natural weight. Inhale, lift and lengthen into gazing pose. Exhale, taking the hands to the hips. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, arms down into Samastiti. Take a big step. So you're standing with the long side of the mat in front of you. Trikonasana. Inhale, taking the arms out. Right foot out, left foot in. As you move into Trikonasana, finding your pose. Good. And do bend your knee if you need to. So strong legs here, leaning back into the pose and either looking down or up to the top hand, if that's comfortable, rotating the upper part of the torso, those lovely strong legs. As you next exhale, can you take your left arm onto your back 
and then see if you can reach towards your right thigh. If it won't reach, just press the hand on the back and encourage yourself to twist a little more, drawing back with that left shoulder. Inhale, use your core to bring yourself up, arms out to the side. As you exhale, turning the feet the other way and coming straight into Trikonasana on the other side. Find your pose, nice strong legs. Good. Looking down, looking up. Leaning backwards a little into the pose. Good. And then could you take the top arm down again, taking it onto the back, maybe reaching for the thigh and encourage the right shoulder back this time. So encouraging that twist, nice Sam, good. Slow breaths, imagine your spine long. Great Leslie. Inhale, using the core to come all of the way up. Arms out to the side and exhale, floating the arms down. Take the feet a little wider, as long as that's comfy. Inhale, arms out to the side, Parshakanasana. Right foot out, left foot in, bending the knee and coming into your version, either arm to leg or hand in front or behind the foot, reaching over with the arm into Parshakanasana, gazing towards the fingertips and of course listening to your body. So if you've been poorly recently, do listen into your body and really noticing when enough is enough, rest as you need to. Use your core as you inhale, bringing yourself up. Feet turning out the other way and exhaling into Parshakanasta on the other side. So all of you that are in the class with me right now have been coming to yoga for quite some time. So I am moving quite quickly through these. Trying to get up a little bit of energy in the class tonight before we chill right out later on. Find your core. Use your core to inhale, bringing yourself up. Feet to parallel float the arms down. Can you twist? So you've got the right foot in front, left foot behind, facing the short end of the mat. Feet as if they're on train tracks rather than one behind the other. Otherwise it's really hard to balance. We're taking Pavarita, Trikonasana, reverse Trikonasana. Inhale, take the arms out, coming down like an aeroplane. And then left hand either onto your right leg or down to the foot, inside or outside the foot. Take the right hand onto the hip and then start to twist looking over the right shoulder and finally reaching up with the right arm. Slow breaths. And see if you can straighten that front leg a little, even if it means bringing the hand a bit higher. Great Annie. That is lovely. Good. Tricky pose, use your core. As you inhale, bringing yourself up, exhaling, pivot around to the other end of your mat, so you've got your left foot in front this time, and then coming forward once more. Arms nice and wide, take the right hand onto the left foot, leg, floor, whatever works for you. Twisting and reaching up with the left arm. Nice slow breaths here. Pressing the weight back into that back heel. Great, Leslie. Good. Some nice poses. Slow breaths. Inhale, bringing yourself all of the way up. Turn the feet to parallel and exhale, taking the arms down by the side. Feet nice and wide, wide leg forward folds. Inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, coming straight down, taking the hands either to the floor or to the legs, fingers pointing forwards if the hands are on the floor, gazing pose. Inhale, lift and lengthen into a gazing pose. Feel that length in the spine, hold that length as you fold down. Leslie, that looks really great. Nice slow breaths. Letting the head drop right down. And that's really good, Leslie. You've got your weight really forward there and your spine is lengthening beautifully. Lovely forward folds, everyone. Good. Keep breathing into the back of the body. Lovely slow breaths. 
As you next inhale, coming into a gazing pose, looking forward, exhale, take the hands to the hips. Inhale, use your core to bring yourself up. And exhale, arms down by the side. Inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, interlocking the fingers behind the back, pressing the fingers down to the ground, and then folding forwards, taking the arms up and over. So weight into the balls of the feet again. As you inhale, pressing the hands away from you. And as you exhale, letting the arms sink back into the sockets. Keep breathing into the back of the body. Legs are strong, hips are high. You might want to notice your energy levels now, any feelings that you noticed at the start of the class. Does anything feel different? Don't dwell on them, but just that little check in with yourself part way through the class. Inhale, use your core to bring yourself all of the way back up. And exhale, releasing the arms down. Let's bring the feet back in and we're going to take a tree pose and we'll take the tree pose first, then we'll come into dancer pose. So taking the weight into the right foot and find your tree pose, the version that's right for you. Bringing the hands into Anjali Mudra, you've got your balance. Gazing at a still point. And this is a point where we're slowing everything right down. Slow the breath down. Focus concentration. Beautiful, Leslie. Great. And then maybe you might like to inhale, taking your arms up above the head. That feels good. More concentration. And exhale. As the arms come wide, and you land your foot down on the ground, other side, gazing at that still point. And gradually, in your own time, bringing yourself into the balance. And you know when we rush, that's when balance tends to be more tricky. So moving in your own time, encouraging the right knee backwards, that turn out from the hip joint, thumbs are heart. Slowing the breathing right down. As you inhale, maybe starting to reach the fingertips up into the sky, squeezing the upper arms towards the ears. And exhale, arms coming wide. And then land the foot down onto the ground. Let's come into dancer pose now. Feel free to hold on to something if you need to, or stop at the stage that's right for you. Gazing is a still point. Let's take the weight into the right foot first of all, taking hold of the left foot behind you if you can. If that's tricky, then take hold wherever you can, leggings, wherever you can reach. If you can't reach at all, another option is to take a warrior three pose as an alternative. Okay, find that pose. Right hand's coming out in front now. And then we're gradually going to lean forwards as you lift the back leg up. Take your time. Strong focus gaze. If you wobble out, take your time to come back. And then pull your leg away from you. That's it, Fran, yeah. Really opens up the pose. Good. And exhale as you gently lower down to the ground. Do the other side. So take your time to come into the pose. Weight into the left foot this time. Taking hold of the right. Left arm out in front. Focus gaze. And then slowly bring yourself into the pose. No rush at all. And then if you've got your balance, draw your raised foot backwards. You feel that it really works into the quads. Great, Leslie, that's great. And then slowly 
lowering the leg down to the ground. Well done, everyone. So do give the legs a shake if you need to. And let's come and stand right at the top of the mat. We're going to work our way down to the floor, but we'll do a sun salutation first on the way down. Standing tall, inhale, reaching the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, lift and lengthen, gazing pose, hands down, back into plank. Knees down, whole body down, or chaturanga. Inhale, coming up cobra, or upward dog. Toes under, into downward dog. Five breaths here in your downward dog. Spread the fingers, push the floor away. Externally rotate the upper arms and lengthen down the sides of the body, bending the knees, of course. That helps you to deepen the pose. Breathe deeply into the back. And then exhale. Let's lower the knees down to the ground. And we're going to come straight into a twist. If it's comfortable to sit back on your heels, do so. Half Lord of the Fishers. So taking the hips over to the right, left foot over the top. If that doesn't work for you, take the right leg out in front, just drawing the left knee in towards you. So feel both sit bones, if you can, firmly on the ground. And then inhale, growing tall, starting to twist now, taking the right arm across and looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, growing super tall. And exhale, twisting, drawing back that left shoulder. Can you place the toes of your left foot on the ground? So you feel the ground, yeah. Keep lifting and lengthening on the inhale and drawing back a little more into the twist on the exhale. Inhale, coming all the way back to the front. And we'll switch sides, switching the legs over and adapting as you need to. So feel both sit bones, really plugging them down into the earth. Inhale, grow tall. And then wrapping the left arm around and starting to twist over the right shoulder this time. Toes on the ground, toes of the right foot less is this time. Feel your body lift and lengthen on each inhale, as if you're reaching the crown of the head higher up towards the sky. And every exhale, drawing back with that right shoulder blade, maybe even beginning to feel a sense of a little more openness around the front of the body. Inhale, bringing yourself all of the way back to the center. And we're going to take the legs straight out in front. So Janu Sasasana, can you draw the right foot in, taking the foot onto the inside, the top of the thigh, twist sideways a bit so you can see me. Head to knee pose. So we're going to round the spine. Any back problems, can you keep the back spine nice and long and straight? Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, folding down, rounding through the spine as long as that's okay for you. And taking hold of the leg, foot. We could even take the hands onto the ground. Drawing back gently with the left hip, as if you're trying to make your left leg a little bit shorter. Slow breaths into the back. Imagine breathing into the back of the heart. One more breath here. Inhale, coming all the way up. Take the right hand behind you. Sweep the left arm across, maybe lifting the hips up as well. And open the heart out towards the sky. Pressing the pelvis away from you. you always keep the hips on the ground. And exhale, coming back down to sit. Swapping sides, bending in the left leg this time. Right leg straight in front. Pull back as if you're shortening that right leg, pulling back with the hip, twisting to the leg, inhale, grow tall, exhale, falling forwards over the leg, head to knee, or keeping the spine long and straight if you have any issues with your back, good. Let the hands be soft, and draw the shoulders gently downwards towards the hips, so we're creating a little more space here around the neck. Slowing the breathing down. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Take the left hand behind you 
and start to lift up, sweeping the right arm up and over, lifting the hips perhaps, look up towards the sky and exhale as you gently bring yourself all of the way back down to the ground. We're going to take the legs wide now for Vista Kanasana. And we're going to keep the legs on the ground first, but do check you've got nothing immediately behind you because we are going to lift the legs in a moment as well. So flex the feet, sit nice and tall. As you next exhale, start to fold forwards, reaching forwards with the heart. See if you can sit on the front of the sit bones. Can you fit, maybe have a little sort of rock forwards and backwards or even side to side to feel those sit bones. See if you can come onto the front of them. Taking either the hands down to the ground, the forearms, or you could take hold outside the feet. And then a lovely long neck, so you're looking downwards towards the ground, so the chin's not tucking. That's it, Annie. Yes. Good. Draw the shoulder blades gently down the back. And again, slowing the breathing down. Lovely, slow, slow breath. Can you feel the fronts of the, of the sitting bones? Flex the feet. So if you're pushing something away from you with your feet. Inhale, gently coming all of the way back up. Bend knees a little bit now. And take hold of either the big toes. We could take hold behind the thighs, making sure there's nothing behind you. Use your core as you lift your feet up. And then maybe start to straighten the legs out. Pressing the big toes away from you. Lift the heart, have a little smile. If you rock back, have an even bigger smile. If you rock back, see if you can, oh, too late, I was gonna say, see if you can rock straight up. Amazing, Fran. <laughs> Good. Lift the heart up, and as you exhale, slowly, you can bend your knees a little lower, the legs right down. That was brilliant. Okay, keeping the feet apart now, can you place the feet flat on the ground? And what we're going to do is to go into tortoise pose. So find the front of the sit bones, have a little wiggle around. And then the first option is to take your hands onto your ankles if you can. So see if you can reach under the legs and take hold. Now that might be enough. That's quite deep as it is. Reach the heart forwards. If you would like to start going a little deeper here, then draw your knees in a little bit closer and start to wiggle your legs onto the tops of your shoulders or as close as you can. And then starting to straighten the arms out. See where you get to, stop whenever you've had enough. And then from here, I'm not gonna do this because my feet are gonna make a horrendous noise on the ground, but you could start to straighten the legs out and see if I can wiggle my feet forwards to show you. But you're wiggling your feet forwards as you're coming closer into that forward fold. Let me come up and have a look. I can't see very well there. Have a look, how are you doing? Great, everybody. V looks like she likes that. You can see a very waggy tail. <laughs> Slow breaths. It's very calm in your house with your dogs, Liz. Keep reaching the heart forwards and then we're going to come out. So if you've got your arms quite straight, gradually bring them in and then slowly lift yourself up to sit. And we're going to take both legs straight out in front. I'm going to point the toes, tuck the chin in towards the chest and slowly roll down onto your back, coming all the way to lie down. Okay, we're going to take a bridge pose here, bending the knees, bringing the heels quite close in towards the hips. As you next inhale, press the feet down, push the knees away and start to lift up into your bridge pose, walking your shoulders underneath you if that feels good and drawing your chest towards your chin. Keep pressing the feet into the earth and every time we press the knees away, Notice that you may feel a little more space. You can lift your heart a little higher. <laughs> Very difficult to practice with dogs. <laughs> Slow breaths. 
lifting the heart up super high, <coughs> excuse me, and then exhale as you lower yourself down to the ground, all the way down to the ground. Draw the knees in towards the chest to ease the lower back. And then let's lift the soles of the feet up to the sky for happy baby. Drawing the knees down towards the armpits or even imagining that you're drawing your knees down to the ground. Holding the outside of the feet or behind the knees. Feel the tailbone pressing down towards the earth. Let the shoulders press down as well. Slowing the breath right down. Every exhale, letting your shoulders soften. And in a moment, I'm going to give you the option of a shoulder stand, or if you don't fancy a shoulder stand, or if you have any heart issues, high blood pressure, glaucoma, neck issues, or you just don't fancy it, I'm going to give you another option. Okay, taking the legs straight up. So bring your legs down to the ground. If you're going to take your legs up and not do a shoulder stand, you may like to just take your hands underneath the buttocks. Helps you to stay here. Press the heels away with straight legs if you do this. Or if you're coming up into a shoulder stand, starting to lift up. And I would suggest being quite low in the shoulder stand first. Where you've got your legs back a little way, holding quite low onto your back. And then as you start to settle in, you can start to take the hands a little bit higher up the back and starting to reach the legs closer towards the sky. Have a look. Whichever version is right for you. And if you have got support and you're going to take legs up, feel free to pop your legs up against a wall, bed, sofa. It's super relaxing to do that. Nice if you are. Good. Wherever you are, if you can, draw your legs together. And maybe you're gazing up towards your toes or maybe you're closing your eyes. Slow the breath right down. That's great, Leslie. Just keep really nice support onto the back. One more breath here. And then take your legs back a little way again so you're not as high. Hands quite low down on the back. Hands down to the ground now and use your hands like brakes to slowly, slowly lower yourself all of the way down to the ground. Fish pose. Either keep the legs straight out in front. We're going to take the hands underneath the bottom, thumbs touching or if you like, you could cross the legs. See what works for you. And then there's going to be no weight on the head. We're going to inhale, lift the head and chest up, and then lightly place the crown of the head on the ground. Breathe into it. Press the arms into the ground. Good. Nice deep breaths. Lifting the chest up a little more if you can. Every time you inhale, one more breath here. And then slowly start to lower your head down towards the ground, releasing the legs out in front. If you've got them crossed, that is. And then from here, we're going to take the arms wide, a supine Baddha Konasana. Arms wide, soles of feet together and let the knees come out to the sides. Can you draw the chin in a little towards the chest? Amazing. You might like to close your eyes. We're going to take five breaths down in towards the belly. Breathing through the nostrils, sending the breath downwards. Every time you exhale, Letting the shoulders become heavier and the arms. Becoming aware of any parts of the body that are gripping. And letting the whole of the body soften. And 
then we're going to move mindfully into Shavasana. So gradually bring yourself into your position for Shavasana, maybe placing a covering over you, if you'd like that, to feel super comfortable. And I'm inviting you, as you settle, to make any adjustments you need to. And then perhaps to close your eyes. Whatever feels right. Letting yourself settle it in. And maybe your hands are on your tummy. It's nice and comforting. Or maybe taking the arms away from the body. With the palms facing upwards. I'm smiling because I'm watching dog antics here. <laughs> As you're settling in. Nice slow breaths. I'll try and be super calming for the dogs as well. So letting yourself settle in. Time to settle. Time to relax, to let the world take care of itself. Let the breath be natural. Letting go of all control over the breath. And we're going to move the awareness around the body systematically. Taking all of the awareness down to the toes. Soles of the feet. And the arches. The ankles shins and the calves. Become aware of the fronts of the knees and the backs of the knees. Fronts of thighs and the backs of the thighs. The buttocks and the hips. Let the legs be heavy, sinking down. Become aware of the lower back, the middle of the back, and the space between the shoulder blades. Let the shoulder blades sink down. The whole of the back completely relaxed. And become aware now of the tops of the shoulders, the upper arms and the elbows, the forearms and wrists, palms of hands, backs of hands, and all of the fingers together. Moving back through the wrists, elbows and shoulders, to the back of the neck, back of the head, crown of the head, and both sides of the head. Come aware of the forehead, let the skin on the forehead smooth and soften. The eyebrows. Space between the eyebrows. And let the eyes drop back into the sockets. The tip of the nose. The cheeks. And the ears. Soften the roof of the mouth. Let the teeth be a little apart. The upper lip and the lower lip. The jaw. Throat. Collarbones. Heart centre. Right side of chest and the left side of the chest, navel and the pelvis. 
Become aware of the whole of the right side of the body. The whole right side of the body. And now become aware of the whole left side of the body. The whole left side of the body. And the whole body together. The whole of the body sinking down. The whole body sinking down to the floor and the floor below. The whole of the body completely relaxed. And take the awareness up to the crown of the head. And then the awareness above the crown of the head. Imagine space above the head, space above the head. And maybe that space begins to expand. Relax the brain, relax the mind and rest here in peace for a little while longer. gently guide the awareness back to the body using your breath. Feel the tummy rising and falling without effort as you breathe. And start to become aware of your surroundings. Aware of your body completely relaxed. And then give your fingers and toes a little wiggle, gently turning the head from side to side. And taking a nice stretch, maybe hugging the knees into the chest and having a little rock side to side. And then rolling over onto your side. As you start to flicker your eyes softly open. And bringing yourself back to sit with the gaze low. And as you come back to sit, I'm going to invite you to take your right hand onto your heart, left hand onto the tummy, keeping the gaze low. I'm inviting you once more just to tune in to notice any sensations, any emotions that may be present. 
Remembering that emotions are sensations. Just name them. Just being aware. Acknowledging anything that's going on in your physical body right now. And then let's bring the hands together in Anjali Mudra. Namaste.